This video will demonstrate how to digitize the writing workshop conference process with Google Forms and DocaFender. What does that mean, you ask? Right now, many teachers lug around a huge binder to log all of their writing workshop data. Instead of carrying around that giant writing workshop binder, teachers will be able to log all of these writing workshop entries digitally in a Google Form that will transfer all of the data to a document table that looks just like this. To get started, Let's head on over to my Google Drive. Once you're in your Google Drive, you're going to go ahead and make a new folder. So in this case, I made the folder called Doc Appender Demo. Inside that folder, you're going to create a blank Google document for each student in your class. So you see this particular class has five students. I would call this an all-star cast. And each student has a Google document that if we open it up, you'll see right now is empty. The next thing we're going to do is open up our Google Form that's going to have all of our conferencing questions. In this Google Form, I went ahead and made a question for student name. I made it a multiple choice question, but I'd also like you to notice that I did not fill in any of the multiple choice options here. And then this particular form looks like it's for groups, so I have a group comprehension where I'll just type in text, areas of needed improvement, and a journal entry grade, one through four. So the next thing we're going to do, we need to populate that student name field with the names of all the students in our class. And what we're going to have DocAppender do is when we select a particular student from the class, DocAppender will fill in that student's document with everything we fill out on our Google Form. So I'm going to go ahead and click my add-ons puzzle piece over here. If you don't have any add-ons in Google Forms, you'll want to go ahead and click the three dots on the top right to say more and then go to add-ons. Once you're in the add-ons menu, you can just search for DocAppender and you'll get started. So I'm going to open up DocAppender. I'll click open sidebar. So first it's going to ask us to select the target document folder and I'm going to go ahead and pick from Drive because we've already created this folder. DocAppender will open up all my Google Drive folders and I'll find the folder I'm looking for, this DocAppender demo, and click select. Once I hit select, we're going to go ahead and hit next in the sidebar. The next thing it's going to do is ask us which question we would like to associate with this folder. So I'm going to click the select question and go to the student name. And then I'll go ahead and hit save and populate selected question. So once I've done that, you'll see that the options for student name now are the, all the names of those documents in my Google Drive folder. I'll hit next. And now it's going to say, so what do we want to add to that target document. So once we select Donald Key, what do we want added to his document? So we'll select the timestamp. You don't need to select the name because the document is titled with the student's name. Then we'll go ahead and add these other three notes that we're going to make. And at the bottom, step four, format for appended responses. So what do we want this document to look like? I like to go down to rows in a single horizontal table. So what this will look like is every time I enter a a response for Donald Key, he'll just have a running table in his document with all these rows of data. So then we're going to go and hit enable. So I'm going to close out this sidebar. And the very last thing I need to do is come up here to responses. And I need to create a spreadsheet for responses so that the timestamp field will be able to collect a timestamp. I'll just hit create new spreadsheet. Once you've created your spreadsheet, you don't really need it anymore. The only reason we've created the spreadsheet is to collect the timestamp data in our final document. So once I've created the spreadsheet, I can close it and just kind of forget it's there. The only person filling out this Google form will be the teacher, since you'll be the one who is recording all the conference data. So in order to fill it out, I'll just go ahead and go to my drive, open up my form, and I can click the eyeball to preview. For our demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and fill this form out a few times with some dummy data so we can take a look at what a final product will look like. Now that I've filled this form out a few times, let's take a look at what that document will look like in our Google Drive. So here I am in my DocPender folder. I've opened up the Donald Key um, writing log. We see that our document has created one row for each form entry with a log timestamp and then the responses to each of those three questions. So you can kind of imagine what this will look like as you continue to evaluate writing over the course of a year.